is Margaret Scott and you're watching Bear Kitchen Feet. Hey y'all, I just wanted to hop on and give you a quick introduction into who I am and talk about one thing that's very important for all of us to remember. Um, first, my name is Margaret and I am certified in nutrition and healthy living. Um, I am on a journey myself into changing my lifestyle. Um, so far, it has been wonderful. I find myself with a lot more energy during the day and I also find myself getting a little more creative in the kitchen, which is always an A plus thing to do. Um, one of the journeys, the journey that I chose is a clean eating journey because that is the easiest one and it's less restrictive. So um, I personally do not restrict out anything that I want to eat. So if I'm craving a piece of chocolate, I'm gonna have myself a piece of chocolate. I may choose a better piece of chocolate. I may go for a dark chocolate or um, a 75% dark cocoa. Um, or uh, I may make myself a protein brownie instead, but I do not restrict myself. And of course I do not restrict my family. Um, and I know this is very hard for some people as a lot of us depend on uh, our family members and the people around us to kind of help us through these. But cleaning in is one of those that you can go to the grocery store, you can buy everything you need and and be fine on your own um, and if not that's okay there's lots of um, recipes out on the on Pinterest on the internet where you can go and you can find yourself um, some really good recipes that just taste delicious um, so that that's the journey that I chose for myself a couple things that um, I have found that I've really enjoyed because one of the huge things I found in water that I really, really enjoy, I really enjoy infused water. So if you have a pitcher, go ahead and cut up some oranges or pineapples or strawberries and put it in your infuser and put it in the fridge. Uh, cold water is ideal and it's so much good. If you don't have that or maybe you just don't think you have the time for that, hint, is is great um, I absolutely enjoy their waters they have zero calories of course um, it's just an essence of fruit flavoring um, I get mine from Sam's Club and it's a pack of 15 and it has water blackberry and pineapple and that is just absolutely amazing if you are addicted to sodas and you feel like that's gonna be something very, very hard to cut out and that's something you should cut out. Um, if you don't think you can, get San Pellegrino. Um, it's a all natural mineral water. Um, it, it's already carbonated when it comes out of the springs. So it's, it's a natural water that occurs. Um, there's, this specifically is from Italy, of course, um, so it's a, an Italian spring that it comes from. However, it is very good. You can put a little bit of lemon juice in there and it gives you just enough extra hint of flavor. Um, another thing I've really been enjoying is fruits. Um, I eat a banana every morning. I go ahead and I get my bananas on Sundays at the grocery store while I'm there. Um, the other thing that's helped me is meal prepping. Um, so you can meal prep uh, very easy things, chicken salad, and have it ready for every morning. You can just spoon it either onto whatever you're gonna bring. So if it's a wrap or sandwich, um, you can just spoon it right on there and, it, and you're good to go. Um, One of the major things I wanted to hit on today was the scale and um, how addicted we are to scales in a diet culture. Um, and I just don't think it's healthy. It isn't a healthy addiction. A scale weight is just a number. It's not gonna tell you if you're healthy. It's not gonna tell you if you feel good. It's not gonna give you any nutritional information. It's gonna tell you just how much you weigh. It's not gonna tell you how much 
lean mass you have. It's not gonna tell you how much muscle mass you have. It just tells you flat out how much you weigh. Um, if you are a marathon runner, a super active person, an athlete, um, a college athlete, professional athlete, even high school athletes, uh, you may want to weigh yourself um, once or twice a day to see how much water weight you're losing because that will determine a lot for you um, nutritionally. Of course, dehydration is the biggest um, thing that you're going to have to worry about there. You don't, you don't want to become dehydrated. It's not good for um, anything. You become very lethargic. You start forgetting things. Um, and of course it can mess with a bunch of other um, organs that you have as well. So dehydration is something you don't want. You got to make sure you're keeping up your water. You got to make sure you're keeping enough salt in your body and you got to make sure you're keeping enough potassium in your body. Now, the other thing about scale weight is it, okay, if you're losing weight, don't set a target weight. Set a target look. Maybe you want a six pack. Maybe you just want to slim up. Maybe you want to be semi-toned, but not too toned. Now, as women, we're a lot of women, and I know it's occurred to me a couple times in the past, um, we think automatically that we are gonna look like men when we start building muscle. Um, well, I love that I get to break to you women. You're not. Our physiques are built completely different from men. And that's wonderful. That means we can go to the gym and get toned and love our bodies and do body competitions, bikini competitions, muscle building competitions, and, and feel good about ourselves. Now there are, you really as a woman have to strive to get a body like a man to have a body like a man. It's a lot more work than just going to the gym and working out. I promise you, if you're going to the gym and you're lifting weights, your muscles are not gonna look like um, the guy that might be working out next to you. Um, your muscles are gonna look a lot different, but that's okay. So remember, as you start your healthy living journeys and as you start Maybe you are doing a diet plan first. Don't focus on your weight. Maybe you do need to lose a little weight. And of course there are people out there who are told by their physicians that they need to lose weight. Um, of course those people, you're gonna want to focus on that first because you're not gonna be building a lot of muscle in the beginning anyways. Um, as you start your healthy living journeys, as you change your lifestyle, um, your weight is going to fluctuate some, however, it's going to go down. Uh, it's not a bad thing. The other thing to keep in mind outside of a scale during your healthy living journey is to make sure that you are making a lifestyle change. Don't just start a diet and end the diet because you're not gonna keep off weight. It's been proven scientifically over and over and over and over again. Yes, you will lose the weight up front. Will you keep it off? Very slim chances. So you're really gonna want to do a lifestyle change. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to um, send me a message. I hope everybody has a great Sunday. I hope this really helps you to understand a little bit more about a healthy living journey. I'm hoping that I'll be able to do more of these. Um, and of course, I will bring you guys um, more information as I can. I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.